Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we are going to see how to find out Laplace transformation of a polynomial. For that, we first see what is Laplace of t raised to n term, where t raised to n represents polynomial in t with a degree n. First, we write Laplace of t raised to n in its integral form. For that, recall the Laplace transformation's integral definition, which is Laplace of f of t is equal to integral of e raised to minus st into f of t dt over the limit 0 to infinity. So here we put f of t is equal to t raised to n. To have l of t raised to n is equal to integral of e raised to minus st into t raised to n dt over the limit 0 to infinity. Now we evaluate this integral. To do so, we put st is equal to x. That is, we are going to use substitution method to evaluate this integral. Therefore, we have t is equal to x over s. Therefore, dt is equal to dx upon s. Now we see what happens to these limits when we transform this integral from dt to dx. See that when t is equal to 0, when I put t is equal to 0 over here in this relation, we get x is also equal to 0. Similarly, when we put t is equal to infinity in this relation, we get x also equal to infinity. Now let's transform this integral from t to x. This e raised to minus st becomes e raised to minus x. t is x over s and dt is dx over s. Since this is this integral is with respect to x, this 1 upon s raised to n and 1 upon s term is constant. You can take it out of the integral. So we have integral of 0 to uh, integral of e raised to minus x into x raised to n dx over the limit 0 to infinity inside the bracket. Recall that function gamma of n plus 1 is given by integral from 0 to infinity of e raised to minus x into x raised to n dx, which is this integral. So we can replace this integral by quantity gamma of n plus 1. So the answer is gamma of n plus 1 over s raised to n plus 1. This is Laplace transform of t raised to n. So we can say Laplace of t raised to n is given by gamma of n plus 1 over s raised to n plus 1. So far in this video, we have seen Laplace of t raised to n is given by gamma of n plus 1 upon s raised to n plus 1. At this point, I have to mention one of the important property of the gamma function, which states that gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n factorial whenever n plus 1 is a positive integer. So you can replace this gamma of n plus 1 by n factorial whenever n plus 1 is a positive integer. So let us see an example on this. Assume you are asked to find out Laplace transform of polynomial t cube plus 4t square plus 3. So let's find it out. First we use the linearity property of Laplace transformation by which we can apply this Laplace operator on every term in this expression. So we have Laplace of t cube plus 4 times Laplace of t square plus Laplace of 3. Using this formula for finding Laplace of t raised to n, we will calculate Laplace of t cube and Laplace of t square. Here n is 3. So Laplace of t cube is given by gamma 4 upon s raised to 4 plus 4 into Laplace of t square is given by 
gamma of 3 upon s cube plus this Laplace of 3 can be given by 3 into Laplace of 1. Laplace of 1 can be calculated by considering 1 as t raised to 0 which is gamma of 1 upon s raised to 1. Gamma of 1 is 1 and below that we will have s. So it will be 3 into 1 by s. Later we will replace this gamma 4 using this property by 3 factorial and this gamma 3 can be replaced by 2 factorial. So that the final answer for Laplace of this polynomial term is 3 factorial upon s raised to 4 plus 4 into 2 factorial upon s cube plus 3 over s. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.